Boston Garden, all ready for NBA playoff basketball. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Boston, home of game two of the Chicago Bulls Boston Celtics matchup. I'm Kevin Holland. I'll be joined by Clark Kellogg and coach Mike Fratello. And Mike, Chicago hoping to even the series up here tonight. And it won't be easy, not against this Celtics team. The Celtics are the favorites to come out of the East, and they've showed why that's the case with a convincing Game 1 win. Very convincing. And the bright spot, Clark, from Game 1 for the Chicago Bulls, the production they got from the terrific Michael Jordan. How about his performance? Didn't look like he had been bothered at all by that foot injury. 49 points, and he showed he's extremely ready for the big stage of the playoffs. But you know what? He's going to have to even be better for them to get the win tonight. That's a good thought. And the Bulls will start with Charles Oakley and Dave Corzine at the 4-5. and five. And in the point will be Kyle Macy. And on the wings, it's the fearsome duo of Michael Jordan and the Iceman, George Gervin. And the Celtics won at front court. Bird and McHale at the forward with Robert Parrish in the middle. The backcourt pairing for them, Dennis Johnson and Danny Ainge. And the Bulls are in dire need to even this series. Losing by 17 points in game one, they need to make a statement tonight. And so it's the Bulls getting on the board first. No good from McHale. And it's puzzling to me why he elected to fade away. He should have just gone right up with it. Bad miss. Jordan, good on the 13 foot of Jordan. Jordan's got his second bucket of the game to go. And Clark, the Bulls can't fall down 0-2 in a five-game series. Hey, Kevin, it's hard enough to beat this Celtics team in any series, but to take three straight games from them, virtually impossible. I think you're right. I think this is how you get yourself going sometimes. Attack the rim. He knows what he's doing. No signs of complacency early. That was the 2K drive. As that move deserved another look. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Now, here's Jordan. Second shot opportunity. The shot comes out. Good D by Johnson. And Jordan with 49 points the last game. Mark, any chance you think he'll match that? I'm never comfortable betting against Michael Jordan, no. Kevin. This guy is so good and so amazing. He's got the skill and the will to do it. I think a lot depends on what kind of defense the Celtics play on. And that's going to be the thing to watch. Now with the inside on the Celtics game plan, let's send it over to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Now, this young Michael Jordan has a lot of tools in his bag. The first thing the Celtics want to do is stop straight line drives. Guys have to rotate over and give him angles off of the basket. But Jordan is so good with his quick first move and then going vertical, it allows him to convert right over the top of defense. Guys? David, thank you. In game one, the Celtics tried five different defenders on Michael Jordan. And Mike, ultimately, he got a little fatigued but not before he put up 49. <laughs> One of the assistant coaches with Chicago said about Jordan, he's got the jump shot ability of a Jerry West and the ability to go to the hoop of a Julius Irving. Pretty good people to be compared with. Phenomenal comparison. I love that. And Clark, here's something that no team has been able to do. Slow down the Celtics front court. Well, there's just so much talent. Actually, too much talent for every position to be able to plug all the holes. They hurt you at both ends of the floor, too. Bird, Mikael, Paris, all elite players. I think someday all three will be in the Hall of Fame. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. And he's making them count at the charity strike. No surprise there. Passes it to Paris. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. A shot, no good. And the big question and Mike problem for the Celtics. How do they slow down Michael Jordan? Well, they sent a few options his way in game one. Michael Jordan. They know they need to be better and will still vary their looks. Good work from Jordan with that sweet jumper. Making the defense look so helpless. Johnson, the pass to Bird. And stolen by Jordan. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, still Michael hot Jordan. from his last game, Michael Jordan's momentum carrying over into this one. Celtics trail by eight. Johnson outside. 
Parrish up top. To halt the run. And it's Bird missing. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. Jordan dishes to open. Back to Jordan. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. Tell you what, the Bulls have really done a terrific job not giving this Celtics crowd a reason to get into it at all. And the Bulls unable to stay with the Celtics in game one. It was within reach until the fourth quarter, but fell 123 to 104. And you know, it really came down to the experience of the Celtics. That was a huge advantage for them. This is a group of championship players, and they had one of the best regular seasons ever as well. Walton's checked in for Boston. Seasting comes in for Dennis Johnson. Jordan against Ainge. Poked away. And now here's Jordan pushing it up, and no one back there. You know, Jordan doesn't need any help there. I mean, his athleticism is really on another level. 119 left in the first quarter. Here is Seasting, guarded by Paxson. Seasting passes to Bird. McHale setting the pick for Bird. Shoots from the elbow. Green with the rebound. The Bulls leading by 12. Here's Jordan driving to the basket. And it's Jordan with the jam. They've been the aggressors right from the start, asserting themselves from the very beginning. Yeah, they're setting the tone, and they're doing it on both ends of the floor. And you look at this Chicago team, and they aren't your typical 8 seed. You know, Mike, they didn't have Jordan for much of the season, and that certainly skews their record. But they are a fearless, confident, and aggressive group that can hang with anybody when they're on their game. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. A gigantic guy. I love when Walton uses his size to attract attention inside. Well, Selden shooting their first free throws here tonight. Evans checked in for Boston. So Walton nails both of them. You know, one of the most complete bigs in the game. Walton can do everything for you at both ends of the floor. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Jordan inside. Picks it out to Banks. Left side, Jordan. Another shot. And it's good. Two points. Jordan's got 20. Boy, they didn't waste any time, did they? They got going right away. They obviously had a plan coming in, and they've put it to good use. And an overpowering first quarter up score. Already a double-digit advantage. Bulls lead by 14. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter in this round one matchup between the Chicago Bulls and the Boston Celtics. And here are the Bulls now. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. And the plan for the Bulls this series is to try and slow things down. The Celtics want to get into an up-and-down game. Makes sense with all the weapons they have. They've got Bird. Johnson is out there with Wedman. Then there's Kevin McHale. And it's Parrish in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. The Bulls leading by 14. And the slower the game gets, Clark, the more beneficial that is for the Bulls. And, you know, that's not easy with all the great passes the Celtics have. The Bulls need to make sure they get back in transition because the Celtics are looking to push it every chance they get. Pushing that pace, you're right. Bulls foul. George Kerbin. This is his first, first trip to the foul. line tonight. First team foul. Shooting for And the first one at the line is good. The versatility of Bird is really special, especially how he scores and distributes the ball in different ways. Bird hits them both. 
a big guy who can knock him down from the line. There are no easy tricks or hacks for limiting his offensive output. And during the season, Boston took five of the six meetings. But Boston was beating just about everyone at that rate. First personal foul, first team foul. The pass to Oakley. Back to Jordan. And the layup's good off the glass. Jordan's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. And only one of those meetings between Boston and Chicago Clark featured the Bulls at full strength. You know, Jordan only played the Celtics once in the regular season, Kevin. It was his fourth game back from injury. We're seeing how different those matchups could have gone had he been healthy. That's a solid observation. Now, here's Jordan. Following the miss by Larry Bird. Pocket six. Jordan against Bird. And that one, good. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got four this quarter. Not surprising at all to see Jordan piling up points, playing with a lot of determination and grit, and insisting on being aggressive looking for his shots. You know, we all know about the Boston home court advantage. They won 40 games here during the regular season. A dominating home court advantage for the Celtics this year. Jordan looking it over. The 11-footer again, Chicago. Jordan's got a lot of flash to his game. A terrific guard. Loves getting tricky with his ball handling and creating shots for himself. And Mike, the Celtics, as you said, so dominant at home. And that home record has everyone in the East nervous about playing them. The Celtics can make the most out of a home court advantage. Hard to see anybody taking many games here. No good from Jordan. Celtics trail by 14. And Mike looking at the two stars for the team. Michael Jordan right now with the edge over Larry Bird. And Jordan is a much more pure scorer than Bird. Still, you expect Bird to crank it up later if this team needs his scoring punch. And they're going to. And here are the Bulls now, following the bucket by the Celtics. Good on the bucket. Jordan's got 28. You look at the numbers for Larry Bird this season, Mike, 25, 10, and 7. I mean, numbers that he's put up for several seasons in a row now. Bird has defined what the small forward position is all about. And that's six foot ten, by the way. He impacts the floor in every metric. I'm ready to call him the best small forward ever. It would take a special talent to knock him off that pedestal. And coming from you, that's high praise. And sometimes Jordan's impossible to guard, which forces the D to foul him. Walton's checked in for the Celtics. Seaston comes in for Wedman. Chicago also making some changes. Green, he's checked in for Corzine. And Banks is subbed in for Gervin. Here is Seasting, guarded by Paxson. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Chicago making a switch here. Banks is checked in. Now into the lineup for the Bulls, Kyle Mason. McHale kicks to Walton. He's looking for McHale and finds him. Boston, no good that time either. And as we expected, Mike Fratello, this Celtics front court has been a problem for Chicago. And this is something the Bulls won't ever have an answer to. I mean, the whole Eastern Conference didn't have an answer for Bird, McHale, and Paris. Three future Hall of Famers in some people's eyes. Johnson, Green with the block. Outside Jordan, pass to Macy, back to Jordan, takes the three, and the Bulls with another miss. And so Bird will bring it up for Boston. It's a 16-point game, and Jordan sends it back. With defensive prowess and nearly a seven-foot wingspan, it's a lot harder to get a clean look on Jordan than most guys. Now here's Jordan, over McHale. Nails the baby hook. Jordan's got 12 now in this quarter. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this league can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. And the Celtics still looking for an answer to Michael Jordan. And you might see more double teams and triple teams at the rate he's scoring. 
He's on his way to another monster game scoring tonight. Danny Ainge has checked in for Johnson. One on nine left now here in the second. Here is Zesting, guarded by Jordan. Shot clock at six. Here's Bird. McHale trying to free himself to stop the drought, and it's good on the way. McHale's got six points. A determined rebounder. McHale just outworks the opposition to come away with the second chance points. Here's Jordan. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Walton. Ainge up top, guarded by Jordan. Jordan against Ainge. Bird looking it over. Shoots over Banks. Nice shot from the wing. Six points for him. Boy, the jump shot of Bird is so pure. He's got his mechanics down textbook style. From deep, Jordan, and the three ball is good. And the Bulls lead by 17. There are very few players who can slow a score of his caliber down. Chicago foul. Gene Banks. First He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots Gene of the game foul. right here. Free throw good. Bird. Larry Bird. Taking two shots. Bird hits them both. Here's Jordan. He has 35. Three seconds left, and the layup is good. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got 37. Using his tremendous strength and body control, Jordan shrugs off the contact and gets the shot to fall. And so it's Chicago, out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And we've got more in 2K Sports. It's called the City of Champions. The third quarter set to get underway here at the Garden. We're here in Boston for game two of the Bulls and Celtics. Second half of play getting going here in Boston. Bulls leading by 17. You look at the firepower of this Boston team. Three All-Stars in Bird, McHale, and Parrish. And this core has been together for their latest title runs. And now, let's go to D.A. Thanks very much. Now, we know about Larry Bird's determination at certain points, but Michael Jordan has some of those same qualities. He missed 64 games this season with a broken left foot. And Chicago management didn't want him to play anymore. But he put that foot down, citing his love of the game clause that's in his contract, which allows him to play whenever he wants. And he said, I'm going to play basketball. That's what I am, a basketball player. And he's back on the floor. Guys? David, thank you. It's a great story. Michael loves to play the game, Mike Fratello. Michael Jordan. And he rarely seems to get tired. Some people have speculated that because he missed a great deal of the season, he doesn't have the normal fatigue at this time of year. Second half underway, and here's who Alexi Morris has got on the floor. Driven out there with Oak. Then it's Macy. Then it's Corzine. And it's Jordan in at the two-guard spot. And the Celtics core club won in 1984 and returned to the finals again last season. And I think for the Celtics team, anything short of a title, Kevin, is a bust. I mean, they know they're the team to beat, and they carry themselves that way. One of the most talented teams we've probably ever seen in the league. I agree. McHale dishes to Ainge. Pass to Bird. Uses the glass to finish the way. Bird's got 10 points in the game. An innate ability to score the basketball. Bird beats you in many different ways. That time from close range. Here's Jordan. Count that bucket. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got 45 points. And the dominance of the Celtics, Mike, have shown again this season. It feels like it's their year. They know it's championship or bust for them. 
They figure they'll be tested on the way and could also have to deal with their old pals, the Lakers. But all season long, they have been the front runner, and that won't change until they're knocked out. They've got the target on their back for sure. To the inside. Stolen by Parrish. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Ainge hits to Johnson. And good that time. Johnson's got his first points of the night. Good for about one per game. Ainge finds his open man easily there. Oakley passes to Jordan. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Jordan had 49 in game one. And creeping up on that here. Found the crease, took advantage, and got it in close. An edge to this lead. They're having their way. Bird finds Johnson. Now here's Parrish. Over Corzine. And it's Parrish missing. The Bulls leading by 21. And when you look at that stacked 84 draft class, obviously there's Jordan. Some incredible talents in just their second season. And their offense so much more efficient here in the second half. I like what I see. Yeah, things really tilting their way. They've got all the momentum. Kyle Mason. Well, some expecting a switch here. Redmond's checked in. And the Bulls making a change also. John Paxson, he's checked in for Mason. Over to the wing. Redmond the pass to McHale. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Like a lot of impact players coming in that 1984 draft class in the NBA. And the talent is at all positions. Great guards, forwards, and of course, Hakeem as a center. Could go down as one of the best draft classes in a long, long time. You are so right. Bulls making a switch here. Green's checked in. How do you defend the pick and roll when it's MJ running it? No, seriously, I'm asking how. Like the way this game has gone, the Celtics cannot slow down Michael Jordan. Well, they've tried some different looks in the first half, but nothing seems to be the answer for Jordan. You're right. And so Green will bring it up for the Chicago Bull. The total for Jordan keeps on climbing. He's now past 49. What concentration from Jordan. Not allowing the defense to affect this shot, even with contact. And it's blocked by Jordan. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Boy, he is all over that shot. I mean, had it red the whole way, got himself into position, and then was able to make the play. And some changes here for the Celtics. Walton's checked in for McCain. And it's Easting in for Dennis Johnson. And Chicago also making a switch. Banks is checked in. Here is Zisting. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. Four on the clock. Here's Ainge. That shot off. And the Bulls going the other way now. Looking at the way Jordan finished the regular season, you had to know that he was on the verge of having a stellar playoff run. Scary to think how good he'll be in the coming years. Mike, his work ethic I know impresses you so much. A difficult situation for Boston. And Jordan continues to be the dominant scoring force on the floor. Mike, Bird can't even keep up with him. That's no knock on Bird. That's just how special Jordan is. He is putting on an absolute show in this game. I bet Bird is impressed too. Left side Jordan. Puts it in off the nasty crossover. Jordan's got 53. The touch on Jordan's close range shots is really outstanding. He almost makes it look simple and easy to score in close like that. To the paint. It's tipped. Passes to Corzine. Trying to find Green. He's got it now. Outside Jordan. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And Corzine gets it to go. Badly for two points. Dave Corzine showing some part. 
Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Ainge against Jordan. Ainge the pass to Parrish. Back to Ainge. Inside. Here's Walton. And the pass to Seasting. Here's Parrish. There's the feed to Walton. Off the mark and the drop continues. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I That's know he's frustrated game. about that. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for the Bulls. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. Back to the action in just a minute. Final quarter of play starting in this game two matchup between Chicago and Boston. And with the injury Jordan sustained this year, he has about as fresh of legs as anyone. He showed that in game one. They've got Seasting. Walton is out there with Wedman. Then it's Vincent. That's the Boston Five. Here's Wedman. It's all in by the Bulls. Green's got eight rebounds in this game. And Macy kicks to Jordan. Up and in on the way. Jordan. Jordan's got 55. And Jordan with the broken foot earlier this season, Clark. Boy, right now he looks 100%, doesn't he? You know exactly right, Kevin. He had some gains towards the end of the year to get himself acclimated and going again. But as you said, he looks locked in now with no holds barred on his game. No limits at all. Exactly. Pass to Walton. Here's Wedman. Pass to Seasting. And now here's Jordan pushing it up and no one back there. One more bucket and Jordan will tie the playoff record. He's got 59. How many other guys can do that? Michael Jordan, everybody, you can't top his showmanship. And, you know, part of the reason why the Celtics feel comfortable pushing the tempo, the development of Danny Ainge, it gives them another option to initiate the fast break. Kite passes to Wedman. Just five to shoot. Tries a three. It's all in by the Bulls. Green's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Mike Ainge, a player that makes a difference off the stat sheet, always doing the little thing. He's an X factor for the Celtics. He can spark the team with a few hustle plays, three pointers, a great fit alongside the rest of the Boston Stars. Terrific fit. Here is Seasting. He's defended by Jordan. And the foul Michael called Jordan. on Michael Jordan. Personal foul. That'll be his second First foul of the foul. game. Here is Seasting. Here's Vincent. Fade away. No good off the front iron. And Macy kicks to Jordan. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. McHale's checked in for Boston. Checking in for Boston. Kevin McHale. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Here's Jordan. It's tipped. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. The shot from the low post is good. A selfless play by McHale with the ball. Didn't like what he saw for himself, so he gives it away. Macy passes to Jordan. Three-pointer. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by McHale. Bird, he's checked in for Vincent. And Chicago also making a switch. Oakley's checked in. Jordan inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Strong move in there by Jordan to draw the contact. At the line for the Bulls. Michael Jordan. First one falls for him. Thank you. 
And both free throws good for Jordan. You know, there's so much that's amazing to me about Jordan, but his endurance stands out. He consistently gets stronger, it seems, as the game goes on. Seasting passes to McHale. Here is Seasting, defended by Macy. Here is Seasting, just five on the clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off, and the basket is good. Jordan has such great awareness of the floor. You saw it on that pass. And Macy kicks to Jordan. Down low, Oakley. Dustin grabs the miss. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Redmond can't get it to go. Redmond's gone two for five tonight. Jordan down low. Burge there. Oakley dishes to Jordan. Green with a screen on Burge. A drive by Jordan. And with 63 Michael points, Michael Jordan is the record holder for most points in a playoff game. What a night. What a special opportunity, Clark, to watch this young player go at it. Absolutely remarkable. Unbelievable, Kevin. Jordan has announced his arrival to the NBA. A bona fide star with a lot of runway still in front of him. A long runway. Charles Oakley. Shots good by Oakley. This is the winning mindset Jordan brings to his team. Enjoys feeding his open teammates. Pass to Kite. Here is Seasting, defended by Macy. Bulls foul. Gene Banks. Celtics making a switch here. Walton's checked in. Paxson, he's checked in for the Bulls. Substitution on the court. Walton inside, defended by Oakland. Tries again, and McHale finishes inside. As we like to say, a guy like McHale is a problem. He's such an excellent scorer in the low post. The pass to Oakley. Over Walt. Oakley misses. And so Bird will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Pass to Wedman. McHale trying to free himself. The second effort. And he lays it up and in. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Green against McHale. Wasted no time on that one. A beautiful pass that time from MJ. 46 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Seasting passes to McHale. The shot that time, not on target. And the Bulls going the other way now. To the middle. Oakley kicks to Banks. Jordan passes to Oakley. A tough as nails, big man. A little contact will never bother Oakley. Second team foul. At the line. And he makes the first. Charles Oakley taking two shots. Both free throws good from Oakley. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Bird against Banks with the shot. A nice shot by Bird. I think he's got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. You got to continue to fight through. And Coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort, or lack of one, that is. And amazingly, the Bulls, Mike, have That's come into Boston and gotten a win. Great performance from them. Like and with the series tied at 1-1 in the Please next two games in Chicago, again the Bulls now have a real look at pulling off a miracle. Well, Clark, the Celtic fans have to be feeling a little bit nervous after losing this game at home. No doubt about it, especially when they have to deal with Michael Jordan in Chicago the next few games. Jordan at home has been electric. And if he gets hot, the Celtics might not make it back home. Things have gotten very interesting. So for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching this 2K sports presentation of the NBA. And we'll see you next time.